Sudbury MP Glenn Tebow showed his support for local CBC radio staff Friday afternoon. Recently announced budget cuts will reduce the CBC staff in half by mid-May. We're seeing if half the station is going to be gutted in terms of its staff on the English side, um, we're, we're definitely going to see a reduction in public service uh, broadcasting in relation to news and programming. And what we truly need is a public broadcaster that provides news and provides programming here in Sudbury and right across northern Ontario. And unfortunately, this government hasn't seen uh, uh, it, it fit to uh, actually provide that service because it said, you know what, it's actually time to not give them the bridge funding they need. And we've seen cuts uh, that are going to happen and affect us now. Union President Michael Roberts said programming will suffer with the cuts. There's no way that with half of our normal complement of staff that we can continue to do the kind of journalism that we have been doing, the kind of stories that are important to Sudbury, to uh, the outlying communities as well. It's, it's, it's undoable. We haven't had a chance to process really what this change in funding, what this change in staffing level is really going to mean on a specific show-by-show uh, -show basis. Uh, but we certainly know it's, it's, it's a dramatic change for us. And it's a dramatic change for uh, the listeners in Northern Ontario too and the outlying communities where uh, CBC Radio is the only signal that they get. Tebow and Robert are urging listeners to sign a petition and rally in support of the station. What we're looking for is uh, all the CBC listeners right now from uh, CBC North to actually uh, contact my office or Charlie Angus' offices or uh, uh, Claude Gravel or Carol Hughes or even Tony Martin in the suit. Uh, I have a petition and uh, Charlie has a petition and they can sign the petition and we'll bring it to the minister in the next week and we're going to continue to fight to make sure that this uh, government brings forward some bridge financing to ensure that we can help not only the jobs that are potentially going to be lost here but the 800 jobs that have been lost right across the country.